welcome back to the channel and today's video is all about the advancements in our understanding of RP and I am going to give you seven of the most recent ones. Number one, gene therapy. Researchers and scientists are looking at whether they can eliminate by replacement or just genetically edit the cells which cause mutations which then cause RP. It's a bit of a mouthful but lots of good stuff is happening in gene therapy with regards to a treatment for some of the um, variants of retinitis pigmentosa. Number two is stem cell therapies and researchers here are looking at whether they can replace the damaged and lost cells within the retina as a way of regenerating the site in people with RP. Three, retinal implants. Now a small chip is, is implanted into the retina and what this does is it allows the uh, the user to bypass the retina and the signals go directly to the brain. Now it has only really been used in people with really advanced RP or complete blindness and it does give them a level of sight back but obviously this is still in its infancy but uh, it's very exciting the bionic eye is a really really cool thing to read up on. Number four artificial intelligence AI is being used by researchers to try and find ways to enhance image processing and also help with adaptive technologies and solutions which are part of smartphones, laptops, iPads, any kind of tech that's got AI. They're trying to find ways to, to give solutions to people with RP and other visual impairments to be able to use technology and assist them better. Number five, there is a growing development of patient advocacy and support. And what that means for people with RP, vision impairments and blindness is that they are groups of people who are given the time to raise awareness of, of the disease, but also to encourage more research, encourage resources to help people with RP in particular and it's just a good thing to be involved in such a supportive community helping people with RP, visual impairments and blindness to do more with their lives and, and get out there. Now number six off the back of point number five is the raising of awareness by um, groups or people that have got RP means that clinical trials and research is really sped up and what is increasingly happening now is that there is a collaboration between researchers, scientists, clinicians, ophthalmology departments, uh, pharmaceuticals uh, companies. They're all trying to work together to come up with a cure or certainly better forms of treatment for RP. So this is a really exciting uh, time which has come about from all of the, the work that volunteers have done to raise awareness of RP. Number seven is the biggest advancement for me, which has been the explosion of social media. And with that, the availability of support groups for people with RP. Now, if you look on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, there's just a wealth of people giving information, advice, support for people with RP and my main bit of advice from this video would be to get involved with those. Whether you love or hate social media, personally it has really helped me to connect with other individuals and groups and give me hope, motivation and encouragement to kind of keep doing what I'm doing uh, and hopefully if you get involved with these kind of things then you'll find that it will be something that will 
connect you to people that understand what you're going through. You might be asking how can someone that is visually impaired or blind use social media? Now, Facebook in particular has made real strides to become more accessible and things like screen readers, talking computers, all these kind of technologies that I'm too old to understand really help people engage with social media. So it's not something to be feared at all. And while things are not perfect, big companies like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter or X, they're always working really hard to make sure that every individual can use the platform or platforms in a way that they're not excluded at all. And yes, you can find Blind Focus with Rob's Ears on Facebook, Instagram, X, and of course YouTube. If you haven't liked the channel and subscribed to it yet, then, um, then make sure you go and do that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all online very soon.